the ureters open into urinary bladder. Now if you observe the urinary bladder, it is a pear-shaped distensible sac-like structure present in the pelvic region very close to pubic symphysis, inferior to pubic symphysis. Now this is a sac-like structure. Now at the base, if you observe the base, base has got a triangular region. See, the, this is the roughly a triangular region. The triangular region is called trigone. You, you have to imagine that's the base. At the posterior region, you can see a pair of openings. At the anterior region, you can see one opening. Hmm? These two are present posteriorly. This is present anteriorly. Now, these ureters, the ureter, each of the ureter comes and opens there. So these two are opening for ureters. And this is the opening for urethra. So this is the internal urethral orifice. I use the term internal urethral orifice. Orifice means opening. It is opening of urethra internally. Right? So internal urethral orifice is present anteriorly and two openings posteriorly, they are the openings of the ureters. So all the three openings, they form a triangular area. The triangular area is present at the base of urinary bladder. Now, if I observe the wall of urinary bladder, wall of urinary bladder contains three layers. Outermost layer is serous. If you observe the outermost layer, serosa is nothing but serous epithelium or visceral peritoneum. Serosa is nothing but visceral peritoneum. On the other side of body cavity, in true silomates, there is mesothermal epithelium, mesodermal epithelium. So outside it is parietal peritoneum, inside it is visceral peritoneum. This is the visceral peritoneum, followed by muscularis layer, followed by muscularis layer. Muscularis layer. longitudinal muscles, circular muscles, again longitudinal muscles. In the wall of urinary bladder there are smooth muscles. The smooth muscles are arranged in three layers, longitudinal, circular and longitudinal. The muscles are also called detrusor muscles. They are called detrusor muscles. Now, followed by this, there is the third layer. Third layer is called mucus. Innermost layer is mucus. The mucosa contains lamina propria. Lamina propria, like as in intestine, it is it contains connective tissue, blood vessels, lymph vessels, nerves. See wherever that is present, it is lamina propria. Followed by transitional epithelium. So this area is mucus. We are seeing the layers of the wall of urinary bladder. 
outermost layer is is, is called serosa it is nothing but visceral peritoneum that is followed by muscles the muscles includes smooth muscles all muscles are smooth or involuntary muscles based on arrangement you can see longitudinal followed by circular and again followed by longitudinal muscles the muscles are also called as the muscles are also called as detrusor muscles that is followed by mucus the mucosal layer contains a layer of connective tissue with blood vessels lymph vessels nerves and fibers that is called lamina propria and then followed by transitional epithelium.